It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I think it'll do the job. Raven, you want to get out of bed? Hmm? So I made a piece of furniture for Raylan's bed. Down here at the base of Raylan's bed, there's a gap between her mattress and the frame. And what happens is that um, the mattress kind of gradually scoots down. Uh, it kind of shifts around and that's not great for her hospital bed because it actually uh, can raise and lower her, but if her mat if her mattress isn't placed on the frame right, it's not going to be the same each time. And also, um, if there's space there, sometimes things could fall off the bed. Um, and that, that hasn't happened a whole lot, but also, see how uh, the, the bottom of her mattress just kind of is a place where we kind of place things sometimes? <laughs> um, so she'll have sometimes extra diapers or chucks pads or uh, wound vac um, stickers to replace her wounds um, dressings. Um, so what I did was I actually made a piece of furniture or shelving or storage or however you want to call it to, that'll squeeze in here um, that'll prevent the bed from coming this direction and also allow us to put some things in there that'll hopefully get stuff off of her bed as much. So I will install that and see how it looks. First, we'll need to get Raylan out of bed. Raylan, you want to get out of bed? Get a wheelchair over there. And get up in your chair. Hmm? Alley -oop. There we go. Keep your hips straighter. Sometimes we still put a pillow between her legs to keep her knees from clanking up against each other. There we go. been about Raylan. Right. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting stuff out of her bed so that I can do this. That's good enough. I'm gonna push this up. See, that's how much space we have there. About five inches almost. Close to five inches. Right then you want to watch. I'll let you watch from there. <laughs> Here's the thing that I'm putting in. Uh, I actually made it for free because I already had all these scraps. Um, I even had all the screws and the stain and the polyurethane too. So it didn't cost me a dime. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I think it'll do the job. In fact, most of it won't even be seen because it'll be wedged there between. Let's see how this looks. See if it'll squeeze in there. <laughs> Tight fit, but that's what we want. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. That ain't going anywhere. Then we can put things in here to get them off the bed. Probably won't keep that there, <laughs> but just as an example. Diapers, wipes, check pads, that kind of stuff. I'm so happy. What do you think? It looks good. Yeah, that's a big difference. Stay on my side. 
Uh, we polyurethane the inside. But yeah, we just um, just coated it so that you don't get splinters. Are you so happy, Raylan? Are you happy, girl? You look happy. Yeah. So, that's what it's going to look like there at the foot of her bed. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think, Raylan? What do you think? Do you like your bedroom furniture? <laughs> what do you think? You want to see it closer? <laughs> what do you think, Raylan? Can you see it? I made it for you. Hey, Raylan. You talk to Dad. Tell him good job. <laughs> Tell him good job, Dad. Good job, Amber. She helped, too. Yeah, Amber helped, too. She um, polyurethaned it. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Are you tired? All right. Well, that's all there is. I think that'll be a, a big help. Put it like hairbrushes and diapers. A few things. I think a few things that we need all the time. All right. All done.